Hello and welcome. Today I want to explain to you about we will do something fun with TTY. What is TTY? How do you spell it? It's like this. And every terminal will have different ID of TTY. This is the the file of Linux for every this terminal so you can think tty this as a as a pipeline for this terminal to the kernel yeah it's like it's something like pipeline correct me if i'm wrong so what what interesting about this tty with this you can do something like this so we will do echo min e hello to this terminal that have a tty id 2 this tty uh, this terminal have tty id 1 i will do it something like this And the message is send it to the terminal beside this. So, if it like this, I think how about we send the command from here to here. Let's try echo. Let's try if we want to ping to here. We in here. Uh, let's do this and as you know every end of the command will always end with new line right because when you execute a command you must uh, press the enter button so there will be a new line in the end of command so that's why I add new line here and let's let's send it to the here oh, nothing happened it just it just like the output of the echo just sent to the here but it's not executed why and the answer is after i googling after i googling and i found the fact that yeah you just simple echo it will not work because echo just write the output buffer so it just don't execute because this is just the output it just it not the input we what we want to do is we must send this command as an input for this terminal or for this session and to the and for that in this blog i will send this i will write the link of this blog or website in the in this video in below yeah, this is the C code so we can send the command like this we can send command like this it so it will send not just an output but as an input that will execute to this to this terminal so let's see how the code work this is just import part this is just for print and this is hmm, this is this is just the part of algorithm to read the comment as you can see this is just to read the comment and the real deal is here this is the real action as you can see in this code he is using ioctl so the 
main actor in this code is Ayoshi Tail. If you want to know about Ayoshi Tail, you can do main Ayoshi Tail. So this is just a control device. This is the function. And this is you must using this special flag. Let's see what is special flag. Yeah, I think this. Uh, yeah, this flag to make a faking input. Insert the given byte in the input query. So it, so uh, just what, just like what we do here, the command uh, or the echo here will not send to the terminal here not just a uh, not just not as an output but as an input so this is how it works so I'll already copy those uh, this program here and I just need to compile here if you using Linux make sure you already have GCC to install GCC you can use uh, you can do this command sudo apt install gcc and in my case i already installed the gcc so to uh, compile this program you can gcc remote tte dot c in o remote tty and let's use this in this block he say that oh oh yeah in to use this you must use sudo why you must use sudo because because uh only a root that have an access to the diff correct me if i wrong so that's why this is a so that's why in here make sure you have a root access or sudo so to run this oh yeah because i compiled as remote tty here he name it is tty echo i name it as remote tty so I must do this. Uh, point slash in n. Oh yeah. Let's do it in here. Uh, yeah. Let's read in here. Let's do uh, sudo point slash remote. Uh, I need to change directory. I compile it in this directory. So sudo point slash remote tty in n. Let's say I want to. I want to this terminal to act to access command EOC L ah. before that I must add I must add the target dev target dev is PTS PTS 2 let's see and here we are it's already it's executed in this terminal let's see how about um, ping google.com and here but if you execute a command like this you can turn off the command in here you must to not with in here 
and I think this is the trick think like this think the scenario that you have an access to the server and your friend access that to the server in the same time and <coughs> let's say just in this case you know the TTY uh, the death of TTY of your friend session like this in this case there are already four or five session in this computer just think in <coughs> just think you have an access in the server and you friend access that server too and you want to chat with your friend you can do uh, and just in this case you know the id of your friend session or terminal or ssh you can do if you just want to chat you can do like this hi but if you want to let's say you want to prank your friend or something else you can just use the program here remote tty like this and your friend must be confused yeah and yep i think that's all if i have a uh, if in this video i lack a uh, explanation about something just comment in below in the comment section okay see you in the other video